chilly one this morning. Zero degrees. There's frost on the beach, on the cliffs. So check this. I think this is a piece of Ron Porphyry, you know, Pebble Hunter's Holy Grail. I found out of a big piece in my last video, but that piece had kind of quart uh, crystal inclusions. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's another erratic rock. I'm not sure if that's bone sticking out carries on round there in a kind of circle pattern. Hey buddy. I will have to put the name up because I can't remember what it is. Wow, you guys are so tame. I ain't got any food for you, that's a problem. So, it's probably been a couple of months after those mental ammonites. Um, and to say, things have been washed out, you know, conditions are good, so many stones here. I've finally caught a small glimpse of a um, ammonite related rock. Let's have a look at this. They're only small ones, but this looks in an interesting one, and especially from here. It looks, wow, it's, lo it's loaded on this side. Look at that. lovely multi block full of little ammonites not sure what species they are but as you can see there's plenty of them all over this piece lovely finally I broke my duck I think I've just found something good I think it's pit and stone it looks just like some research pictures I was looking at, and it's a huge piece. <laughs> this could be Hertfordshire pudding stone. There's someone over there who's really keen. I don't know who that is. But this hair is mental. I'm taking this. Look at it. Jesus. This, I think, oh. <laughs> Oh, a good find. A classic find. Holy. That is not, that is definitely not a piece of cement. Because that's what I've been looking at before, just pieces of cement. It's gotta be pudding stone. or some type of conglomerate like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Check this one out. See it there? Oh, well, that's nice. That is a rhombus, totally. From Porphyry. Once you just, once you pop, you just can't stop. There's another piece. That is, and that's definitely, that's definitely rhombus-shaped, diamond-shaped inclusion. I've got an extra nice sea urchin fossil down here I've just spotted. I'm gonna keep this one. I normally leave these for everyone else but look at this. I think that might be a mycraster. The 
it's got a beautifully preserved star pattern of the surface of the sea urchin. Yeah, that's a Mycraster, I believe. Slightly different to the norm. Get a close up for you. Right, so I should have probably done this on camera, but I just found a rock with a trace of an ammonite in. Give it a tap with my hammer. You can see there's a keel just here, but the split in this stone has formed in what I would consider to be a positive place that may reveal this whole ammonite. going to be a uh... wow it's actually a perinoceros uh, for a lucky split I'm quite pleased with this I think I'll be able to dremel some of this centre right possibly and uh, yeah Right, so we've got one of the most promising looking nodules that I've seen for a while. It might be a flat layer of shells or something, but this thing looks impressive. Let's check it out. What? I'm praying this is like a Hildoceros ammonite nodule because, oh, there is something in there. Oh, there's something in there. Look at this. I think... Ah. Oh, there is... That is a Hildoceros bloody ammonite keel, but it's crushed. And then there's a lot of crushing hair. Hold on, what do we got? Is that... Is that the ammonite? Let's go rinse this thing off. Beautiful sky, look at that. Don't know what to do, you know what it's like. Like, I get so tempted to hit stuff with a hammer. I may just risk, I may risk it, you know, just see what we've got in there. You know, this is mad. I may take one of the pieces off. What we're going to do is, we're going to give it a light tap, very light tap, and uh, just see what occurs. It's very soft, and there's so many places. I think I'm going to dremel it. 